Today on Political Access, we've got another coin flip battle for you. This time, it's Ted Turner for the Democrats up against Donald Trump for the Republicans. I believe this was suggested to me in the comments. Either way, we're going to do it. Trying to play this out for real would be kind of tough. So let's hope we get a good battle here. Heads is going to be for Ted Turner. Tails for Donald Trump. Let's start in Alaska. See who gets on the board first. And it's going to be Donald Trump. He's going to take Alaska. And now we're going to head into Hawaii. And this is going to go to Ted Turner. So now we have both candidates on the board. That's what we like to see. Now we're going to go up to Washington State. And this is going to go toward Donald Trump. We've got a red Washington. Now let's go one state south to Oregon. And that's going to go to Ted Turner. Now we've got a big state here. California, 54 electoral votes. This is going to put somebody with a big lead. And it's going to be Donald Trump. It's not over by a long shot. Now we've got Nevada, six electoral votes. Trump again takes Nevada. Now we've got Idaho, four electoral votes. Can Ted Turner get something going? Yeah, he can. He got four from Idaho. I've got Utah here, six electoral votes. Ted Turner again. A little bit of a roll there for Turner, two in a row. Now we've got Arizona. And that's going to go back to Donald Trump. Now how about Montana? Four electoral votes. That's going to go to Ted Turner. Now we're going to head into Wyoming. Not a lot of votes here, but Ted Turner is going to get those three. Now we've got Colorado. Decent chunk of votes here going to Ted Turner. And now we're going to go south into New Mexico. Five electoral votes. Donald Trump makes New Mexico red. Now we're going to go all the way to North Dakota. And we'll see what happens here. It's going to be Trump. How about South Dakota? Three more electoral votes. Ted Turner. Now we've got Nebraska at large. And that's going to go to Donald Trump. Now we're going to do Nebraska's first congressional district. It's bound to be something crazy happening here. And that's going to Trump. How about the second congressional district? That's going to Trump as well. And can Trump make it a clean sweep in Nebraska's third? Yes, he can. Well, don't see that often. At least in the coin flip battles, anyway. Now we're going to go to Kansas. And Ted Turner is going to get those six electoral votes. How about Oklahoma? Another seven at stake going to Trump. And now we've come to Texas. So far, Trump has built up a red wall here along the southern border. Can he continue it with Texas? This could be a game changer, and he does get Texas. Wow, the pressure is now on Ted Turner. Trump with almost a 100 electoral vote lead. But there's plenty of states left, and now we're going to go up to Minnesota. 10 electoral votes. Donald Trump makes it red. Now we've got Iowa. Six more electoral votes. Go to Donald Trump. Ten more here in Missouri. That's the next state. Trump again. Now Trump is on a tear here. Down the middle of the country. Arkansas though. That's the next state. And Ted Turner finally back on the board. And now we're going to go to Louisiana. Eight more electoral votes. Ted Turner has two in a row. And now we're going to cross the Mississippi. We're going to go to Wisconsin. And that's going to go to Ted Turner. And now we're going to go to Illinois. 19 more electoral votes. Ted Turner's got to put something together. Trump has a 100-vote lead, and it is going to Ted Turner. And now we're going to go to Michigan. Go deep into this rust belt. Donald Trump takes Michigan. How about Indiana? 11 electoral votes. That's going to go to Trump. And now we've got to go to Kentucky. And that's going to go to Ted Turner. Ted Turner at a 99 electoral vote. And now we've got Tennessee. And Donald Trump crosses 200 with Tennessee. It's not looking good here for Ted Turner. He's still at 99, but something could happen here in the Sun Belt and in New England. But now we're going to go to Mississippi. Donald Trump again. Trump having a great night so far. Let's see what happens in Alabama. 
Trump again. So now we're going to go down to Florida and Ted Turner basically has to get this or he's going to be in a hole so big he can't get out of. And wow, this goes to Donald Trump. Trump at 254 already. And actually, if he wins Georgia here, that'll put him at 270. So this would be an early night if Trump can claim Georgia here. 16 electoral votes. Who's going to get him? It's Ted Turner. So Turner keeps Trump out of the White House for at least one more state. Actually, two more states, because now we're at South Carolina, and Trump cannot win it here. And it's going to Ted Turner. How about North Carolina? This would again be the game winner for Donald Trump. If he can do it, who's it going to be? And it's Donald Trump winning it on North Carolina. Trump at 270, Ted Turner only at 124. I did not expect this election to be over so early, but I guess Ted Turner was no match for Donald Trump, at least so far. Maybe Turner sweeps the East Coast and it becomes really close. Let's keep going and see what happens in Ohio. And Donald Trump again. He's relentless. He's looking for a landslide. Now we're going to do West Virginia. Only four electoral votes. Not a huge deal here. But Donald Trump, he still wants them. He wants every vote he can get. But now we're going to go to Maine at large. Two more electoral votes. And that is finally going to go to Ted Turner. How about the first congressional district for Maine? And that's going to go to Ted Turner. How about the second congressional district Ted Turner, fully blue Maine, but now we're going to go to New Hampshire. Who's going to get these electoral votes? Ted Turner is about Vermont. Who's going to get these three electoral votes? And that's going to be Donald Trump. Now we've got a big chunk of votes here, 28 of them in New York. Who's going to get them? It's Donald Trump. Why not? He's having such a great night. He's already over 300. And we still got more votes to count. Massachusetts, that's the next state. Donald Trump again. Wow, this is an epic night for Donald Trump. Connecticut, that's the next state. Donald Trump again. Wow. Rhode Island, let's see what happens. Donald Trump takes Rhode Island. This is incredible. Now we're going to go to New Jersey. 14 electoral votes. Donald Trump again. Wow. This is amazing. How about Delaware? Only three electoral votes. Ted Turner, he wants those three electoral votes. And the next state is going to be Maryland. Ten more votes here. Ted Turner makes Maryland blue. Now we've got Washington, D.C. And that's going to go to Donald Trump. Having such a great night, why not make D.C. red while you're at it? And now we've got Pennsylvania, 19 more electoral votes. Ted Turner gets those. And now we've got the last state, Virginia, 13 electoral votes. Who's going to get them? It is Donald Trump. And there's your map, 374 for Donald Trump, 164 for Ted Turner. So that's a 210 electoral vote margin of victory for Donald Trump. And I believe this is the biggest landslide I've had on the coin flip battles. And I did not expect this. I was hoping for something a little bit more balanced. Trump swept all the big states pretty much. Ted Turner could not get anything going. Look at all that red. There is some blue out there, just not in a lot of the big states. And this is pretty much a legendary total when you're talking about a random coin flip. But we'll see if someday somebody can beat 374. But for this matchup, Trump defeats Ted Turner. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this matchup? What do you think about these states or the result? Let me know down below on your way out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.